passenger on my aircraft to treat them with kindness and respect, so I will not have everyone having any issue with someone for wearing a mask or not wearing a mask. It is all up to you guys right now. So enjoy the fresh air and enjoy the beverages. That is a Southwest <laughs> flight attendant telling passengers masks are now optional in flight. Passengers on another flight threw away their masks. Wow, and that's because they're no longer required on a number of major airlines. But we do want to point out MTS, you're locally still mandating masks, at least for now. And CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol live at San Diego International Airport to explain what we need to know and a lot of reaction coming in about this. Good morning to you. Good morning, Eric and Netta. Well, as passengers get out of their car, I'm noticing a lot of people not wearing a mask walking into Terminal 1, but also some people are still wearing them as it has been made optional. So we spoke to passengers who are on either side of the fence moving forward. I think it's perfect. I think that we're at the end of the road and we need to move on. Everyone can, you know, self-protect themselves. I like the idea of having that extra layer of protection. And... If we don't have that, what do we have? Now, last week, the CDC extended the mask mandate until May 3rd, but it all changed yesterday when a federal judge in Florida voted the mandate ruling, voided, excuse me, the mandate ruling the CDC exceeded its authority. Now, multiple airlines have made mask wearing optional for both passengers and employees right away. Here's an official statement from the San Diego International Airport. They say our primary goal is to ensure the health and safety of the traveling public. We will continue to comply with TSA guidance on masking. And at this time, TSA's mask mandate is not in effect. Now, you might want to keep a mask on hand still because the San Diego Public Transit is still mandating masks on its trolleys, buses and other vehicles as well as its stations now they are working on guidance from the federal government but today if you're heading to the airport for your travels you will not need to wear a mask if you need it this just happened yesterday so travelers are now just getting updated with this information again coming up 